did nobody tell you? It's a bad idea to go alone in the dark. Especially outside these walls. Oh, don't you worry. I'm gonna let you go back to your friends. Just one little thing. Tell the girl that death's going to come for her and all that serve her banner. Now. Run! Oh, that was close. Welcome to the Resistance, Boren. Ready for action. That run got my blood pumping, so what's the plan? What now? This is too risky, you idiot. Never let them talk you into this again. I'll be honest with you, you're not looking too great. I saw him. Who did you see? A savior that heart went... Lord. Alistair, you saw him here? He is here. Oh. Something. Hmm. Something's not right. Tell me, Roland, what's the status on the Ravagers? Uh, after the death of Rebecca, the group died with her. After her death, did any of them return to the city? Uh, no, sir. Well, isn't that interesting? You should listen to this fool! Let him go or we will shoot. Shoot? And he dies too! I can imagine he will do worse. So the way I see it, it's you letting him go or he might as well be dead. Pull your archers off of the street! Only then will I let him go! Hold! Keep my aim on you if you don't mind. I'll be seeing you again soon, boy. <laughs> This was a lovely meeting. I am never doing that again. People say that man is scary, but he is really scary. He's just a man. Don't let the idea of him being more than what he is grow on you. As long as we are behind these walls, he cannot get us.
Man approaches! White Banner! I want words in private with your leader. I guess I'll be the first to speak. Your supporters, they're not fighters, and once that wall falls, they won't stand a chance. We're not making anyone fight for us. They don't just blindly follow the order of the Alliance. They make their own decisions. Just look at the poor people who did not fight with us, but they were still slaughtered in the streets to scare us. So no, I don't blame anyone for fighting for their lives in freedom from you. The sooner you rebels surrender or simply leave this place, the sooner the terror of the thorns will end for these poor people. So you're not completely blind after all. You see what that monster is doing and you don't agree. I want it to end as much as you. But your way is only making it worse. And trust me, he will make it worse. Don't be stupid. You know what won't end here or with us. That man out there wants nothing but the pleasure of terror to feel his rage. And Scott might have the right ideas, but his way of getting to it has led him to a path of unredeemable actions, which not everyone on this earth would stand for. Not even his son. You simply cannot win this. The Thorns, Scott's royal power, the Alliance flee on the horizon. You're fighting a, for a world long gone, and it's time to let go and adjust to make the new one a better one. We do not need to win. We just need to make sure that monster and the unjust king are not left to rule it. It cannot be done. I see your faith has been drained of hope, but ours isn't, and there is nothing you can do to change that. So we will fight on, and I promise you, I will see the downfall of Scott Russell. I will remember your bravery. You have ruined any chance for us to run this kingdom. Do you know that? This will be my last battle. I've now got what I've been searching for so long. When the day is done, I'll finish the rebels once and for all. Then you'll be left to rule the kingdom without the people's fear of me. You want to be remembered as a monster? I don't care. I gave up those ideals. The day I decide to bring down a kingdom, I once swore to protect. But look at me now. Not only have I brought down two kingdoms, I've also secured the unity of the others into one. All I have ever cared about is the downfall of the Highwind family, and our agreement is coming to that end. Is it time? So many years I've been waiting for this moment. It's finally time! You love someone, Ms. Hartley? Not interested, I'm afraid. I'm just wondering what drives you. Your sister and home taken from you? A smart man like you should be able to figure that out. A few options come to mind, but please entertain me with an answer not influenced. I wasn't there to protect them. When they took my sister and her husband, Charlie was all alone in a fiery building when I found her. That is something she will have to live with for the rest of her life. Reliving that one moment when it all went wrong. Don't you think your decisions have made her experience worse since then? Of course. All that is still because of me. I led her into this war. I want her to make good memories when this is all over. I will make that happen for her. And you do not expect anything for yourself? You asked for my reason. This is what I fight for. The sails of the Alliance. One ship. Even the Storm Chaser cannot get through the Alliance fleet. I'll take that as a challenge. And I know it might seem like a good opportunity to escape, but don't forget who has the key to this ship. Just please, don't sink it while I'm locked here. Oh, what a shame that would be. They are counting on us to secure the harbor of Kalo, and to do that, we need to get through here. Now, are you ready to follow me into a battle of one ship against a fleet? Uh, General... What's wrong? There is no fleet. What? Where are you all going? We've all been ordered to the plaza. What for? To say they're ending the rebellion.
Whatever they're doing over at the plaza, you know it's a trap, and we cannot leave the walls undefended. That's why you stay behind and guard it, my friend. Today marks the end of an era. An era of war and pain. It took my son from me and twisted his mind. And that was all thanks to one man. I present to you all the traitor of the Alliance, thief and murderer, Alistair Highwind. Who is that? A man they're about to turn into a legend. Can you see them, Alistair? In the crowd, on the rooftops, they've all come to watch you die. Slowly and painfully, as all high winds should. I will not resist you, Rosago. If you think I'm just going to kill you and be done with it, you are very wrong. Not only am I going to hear you beg, hear you scream. Even all those who have come to support you will kneel to me, begging me to end your life quickly. <laughs> but I won't. I may be the only person here with the knowledge of what you used to be, and what you could have become. You're an empty shell of that person, and I do pity you for not having the strength to think beyond yourself, and dwelling in your own hate, becoming a monster. We've both become more in their eyes than what we see ourselves to be. I'll close yours to their judgment, and I'll make an end to my promise. Today, I give power back to you, the people. Show this man that you do not forgive a traitor and a murderer of your brothers and sisters. With the torch given to you, I will permit a single burn mark from each one of you. The Thorns have been calling this the Titan's Punishment. I've been saving it just for you. <laughs> I'm honored. Begin! Don't do anything drastic. I'll get you out of here. Why would you help us? You're all trapped here and his suffering will lead you to do something stupid. Go with him, Charlie. They know your face better than mine. You really think I'm leaving you here? Before I became the Black Dagger, he was like a second brother to Martin and I. I will stand by his side in the end. You come back to me, okay? Promise me. I promise, Charlie. Hurry up, or get out of my line! Let him take his time, Rosargo. Sir, I would like to suggest the traitor get a few words before he is unable to speak. I'd suggest you hold your tongue, peasant, before I make you unable to speak. Rosargo, it's his right and what the people demand. Let him have his final words, and we shall end it. The world I was born into, and the world I have lived through, has been in constant change. From the fall of Cantroc to now, the rise of a united kingdom in open rebellion, I have never wanted a crown. Only to live a life of peace with my family, in a place I could call home. I stand now on trial, with two men that took both from me.
Scott Russell is the one who killed all the kings and queens of Landra. He was mine. I'm going to this camp and I'm bringing every single thorn into this city. And I'm tearing down that bloody barricade. Scott, we got to go. Hold your fire. D don't shoot. The latest recruits have arrived and are awaiting our appearance on deck. You know the speech. Why do you need me? We both know uh, that they didn't recruit for me. You were a military commander long before I joined the effort. I will respect no other man more than he who first rode out to capture my grandfather's killer. Still, there will be nobody chanting my name at the docks today, so you will have to take the burden of fame for now. One day, I promise you, Men will be shouting out loud your name, Scott Russell. Well, let's go show them what they want to see. As we speak, the Rebellion is making their way to the Mistlands. We need to get there and set up base before they can settle in. You few have been chosen by the Shattered Crown to be leading the charge. You answer to Alistair, and when he's not around, you will answer to me. I am Scott Russell, and if I catch anyone acting up, there will be consequences. This is where we end the rebellion. Now get ready to move out. For the, the shattered shattered crown. crown! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Alistair. Rebel shall fall. All hail Alistair! Yeah! Alistair! I am not your hero. I am not your king. I am Alistair Highwind. Nothing more.